don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what a BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. That's a fact. You got the city hot. Foul. Don't fuck around. What's good, Stella King? It's your boy Up Glass, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction Channel on YouTube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. You guys already know which the video is gonna be about because the title. Yes, I'm gonna give y'all. What y'all been waiting for? Everybody had this question and everybody wanted to know what was going on. You feel me? Oh, shit, the whole hood want to know. Even people that's not from Brooklyn want to know what's going on and why this situation happened. You feel me? So I had a very, very liable source, you know, and they, feel me, gave me insight on the whole situation and what happened, how it happened, all that shit. So for you people who don't know and you didn't see my other two videos, I'm gonna give y'all a little briefing real quick, you know what I mean, of what happened. Not only that I'm giving y'all a briefing, I'm trying to run up some minutes too, so I might as well just brief y'all anyway, you feel me? Gotta keep it 100, cause I'm the realest channel on the tube, you get me? Anyways, all right, with the MV King situation, um, he got robbed. Right? Um, well, not technically Rob. Um, I yeah, remember my last video, I was saying, like, I wasn't too sure because the source that told me, uh, I, I mean, I didn't know if it was true. But another source told me, like, yo, listen, and, and this is somebody that's, you know, with niggas and shit. You feel me? So niggas say, yo, um... He didn't really get robbed. They did actually go in his hotel room and steal his shit. You feel me? So, y'all already know the whole story behind all of that shit because I said it in the last video. But they went in the hotel room while room, room service was in the room, stole his laptop, woo woo woo, and shit. But now, before that, it had something that made all of that occur, like where, you know, they actually went in the hotel room in the first place and why were they even on Envy King specifically. He's not the only folk that's in 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 Georgia right now. It's a lot of them down there, but they targeted him, basically, you feel what I'm saying? But I'ma get into that, you feel me? We only had two minutes. I felt like I was talking forever. God damn. Shit. <laughs> I need to find some new shenanigans to run up some time, right? But anyway, let's get into the story now. Um the reason why Envy King is no longer folk is because in Georgia, he took something from somebody. I, I got to word it a certain way. Matter of fact, I don't want to say no shit that'll get anybody in trouble and shit. You feel me? All right, all right boom. Let's say, all right, nah, you know what? Because niggas, no, then nobody report nothing anyway. All right, he booked somebody, right? He booked somebody, and that person he booked was Crip, you feel me, out there. I guess he was hanging out with certain niggas in, in Georgia and shit, and he got on some real shiesty shit, ended up booking some niggas in Georgia or whatever, you feel me? I don't know exactly what he booked them for, but he booked them, you feel me? So he ended up booking the niggas in Georgia now, and... I this is the dude that's in the video. I'm guessing it's either he is the dude that got booked by Envy Kane or one of his mans. You feel me? So Envy Kane booked the nigga or whatever, and I guess he he staked out. And I mean, nigga was bleaching in front of. Well, some of y'all will know what I mean by bleaching. Like he was like staking out in front of um, Envy Kane's. Hotel or whatever, pre and him. He doesn't see Envy do all type of movements and shit like that. And I guess he waited till Envy left and then went in the hotel. I don't know why. If somebody robbed you and shit like that, and you got you got to drop on him. Like, why would you? But then again, do probably know his hood more than I do. So he probably knew in that area he couldn't do no harm to him and shit. So 
he'd rather just go in there and book his shit. And I guess if he would have went in there, try to book him while he was in the hotel room, if he did have a firearm or whatever, he could have defended himself because in in um in Georgia the laws is different from here. So he could have defended himself. Envy King could have defended himself or whatever because that's would be his place of residence, you feel me? Even though it's a hotel. But anyway, so that dude got booked and booked Envy back. But the thing about, about it that I don't get is why do all the shenanigans with the the internet shit? Like you, you went out there, you posted that you booked a nigga, all right? You feel me? That's why I had to think in the beginning too. Like I want to make sure I wasn't saying nothing that that's that they incriminate niggas but at the end of the day it's already on the internet anyway so except for the fact that every books dumb niggas first you feel me but anyway and now i don't understand why you do all them shenanigans on the internet like put the video out with his shit go on his his youtube delete all his videos his hat like get on his instagram all that extra shit like what was the point of doing all that shit like it i i feel like it's Cloud chasing behind it because all right, you could have booked him and deleted all his music and his Instagram without recording yourself, without posting Pop Smoke, without posting Bobby Schmurder, without posting all that shit on his on his platforms and shit, without saying GDK and his shit and all that shit, without doing all of that, you could have just booked him back or you could have did whatever you had to do and shit, but you didn't. You posted on the internet, so. I guess he wanted the clout behind the whole situation. You feel what I'm saying? I know a lot of people that are on the opposite side of MVK and they celebrating because, you know, when something happens bad to your ops, obviously you're going to be like, yo, you know, shit, fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I don't care about him. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to make fun of it because he's one of the dudes that if something happened to one of y'all people, he's going to make fun of y'all too the same way. So I understand niggas going to clown him and shit. A lot of people celebrating the fact that Nick, whoever is... Whoever the dude is, is posting a lot of woo shit, feel me? And the main purpose of him even doing that is because MVK is, is fucking shit. Know what I mean? And now the GD niggas, they kind of like, yo, listen, man. We left New York to come down here and be comfortable. We want to be able to move around and be comfortable. Because, you know, they can't be comfortable up here. I don't care how gangster niggas want to, like a lot of niggas want to be extra tugs and shit like that we know niggas cannot be comfortable in new york because they liable to run into action you feel me so they went downside to be comfortable you feel me i understand it's respectable bro you know what i mean sometimes you want to just be able to chill you don't want to be on guard 24 7 so they went down south to be comfortable you know what i'm saying and being that envy doing sleazeball shit like booking niggas and shit now he's creating beef for them you feel me? That's supposed to be their safe haven where they're comfortable at. And he's booking people, bringing beef. So now niggas got problems down there with niggas that they would have probably never had a problem with. Because if MV ain't do it. Because in, in um, other states, GDs aren't beefing with Crips in every state and shit. You feel me? That's mostly a New York thing. A New York thing. Like OT and shit, GD and Crip niggas is cool. You know what I'm saying? That's really a New York thing. And most of this GDK back and forth shit with these niggas, it's all because of the drill rap and all that stupid shit. For me, a lot of niggas going to try to say, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just making up shit about the GDK and beef and shit. But I know for a fact, nigga, this shit is because of rap. Yes, Crip niggas in Brooklyn was beefing with niggas, folk niggas before and shit. But it wasn't a, oh, yo, you're Crip, I'm folk, we beef. No, it was never like that. Of course, I had certain niggas from certain sets that had problems with each other. We know that. But, nigga, it wasn't this type of situation. And anybody that's saying it was, my nigga, you got to be a kid or some shit. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. You know what I'm saying? Of course, niggas had beef before. And Evans Field was like the only hood that was really on that folk shit. You feel what I'm saying? Of course, they have other blocks where folk niggas is. I always got to say little shit disclaimers like that because people run with anything you say and go to the comment section and talk about bullshit. But anyway, back on topic, right? They feel like he brought too much beef on them. He he He's starting problems. So that's the reason why they ended up kicking him out the nation and saying he's not folk no more. You feel me? But I don't really agree with that because if you're saying he's starting beef, so basically what you're saying is, all right, as long as he beefing with niggas in New York, 
We don't care. He can beef with everybody. He can start problems. This 20 niggas on a, on a, on a track as straight as he come out from jail. But he can't do that shit or none of the slime ball shit that he does in New York out here. Know what I mean? Like, yo, you know that's the nigga character and that's who he is. That's what he does. You feel me? If that's your mans, you ain't you ain't supposed to kick him out the set because you feel what I'm saying you um you wanna be you you say you wanna be safe and shit, bro. At the end of the day, niggas is gangsters at the end of the day. So if you're a gangster, you're supposed to ride out with your mans. Like, alright, we out here, you feel me? You booked the nigga, you know what? Fuck it. It was stupid. You should have never did that. They probably could have disciplined him, give him a, a little discipline square, or whatever, so he learned his lesson and shit. But they didn't have to kick him out. You know what I'm saying? They could have just robbed with the nigga. Like, yo, you know what? Fuck it. We got beef here. Next day, <laughs> straight like that. You feel me? But it seems like they like Georgia too much. You feel me? They's like, yo, nah, we cool. We sanctioned out here. We don't want to move. You feel me? We staying here. So now, instead of us all having beef with these people, we're going to kick you out the set. But you, what you got to understand, though. From the nigga that book MVK, and if you watch the whole situation, bro, he don't look like a nigga that really cares if y'all say MV not folk anymore, bro. He look like a nigga that if he see one of y'all niggas, he gonna do some shit with one of y'all niggas too and put it out there on the internet the same way. Like, look, all these niggas, it's, it's gonna come like a New York versus Georgia thing. Look, he gonna, they gonna try to catch one of y'all niggas and say, oh, New York niggas is sweet. Look, these niggas be rap capping all the time. Look, we catch niggas lacking, you feel me? Not saying that these niggas is sweet. I'm just hypothetically, you know what I'm saying? Because I know how niggas in the street think, bro. Nigga don't give a fuck if you say he not. Come on, bro. Come on, my nigga. He was folk when he robbed them. <laughs> so now that nigga mad at folk niggas, you get me? It's like, yo, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? That's why he was putting GDK. He didn't put NVK. He put GDK, you feel me? And at the end of the day... Y'all kicked Envy out for doing that shit, but you got niggas like Breezy that start a lot of beef. You feel me? Nigga, Breezy start a lot of beef. Nas used to start beef, but he calmed down. You feel me? Tutu start a lot of beef. You feel me? But y'all kick out niggas like Envy Kane. Like, I don't understand if it was another altercation aside from this too that really, you know, like, ah, right, yo, this the last straw. You feel me? This the straw that broke the camel back. We, you know, we we not fucking with you no more. Unless Envy King kept doing fuck shit that they spoke about, but he just kept doing it. You feel what I'm saying? Because I, like, Breezy go online talking about fuck Pop Smoke after the nigga died and shit. Right? FBG Doug died, nigga saying some funny. Ain't he supposed to be GD, bro? You see what I'm saying? So it's corny shit, and y'all got corny and niggas in y'all circle that's doing corny and shit. And y'all not kicking them out. You feel me? So why this nigga? The one that raps the best at that too. Like the most lyrical rapper in y'all camp. Y'all kick him out and shit. And like Coach the Ghost. Speaking on Coach the Ghost. It's like, yo, bro. I didn't know who Coach the Ghost was till he did that song with Envy Kane. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, it's funny like how it's so easy for you to have all this negative energy towards this man on social media with straps and everything. Yo, once a nigga up a strap while he's talking to me, like, I take it as disrespect. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's mad disrespectful. So, for the nigga that put you on and made niggas know who you were, for you to have that energy towards that man on social media is, is crazy. I'm baffled. You feel me? I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? That's why I was asking questions like, yo, it gotta be a lot more to this. You know what I'm saying? But, this is the information I got on what's going on so far. Like, yo, he booked a nigga, and that's what started that shit in, in Georgia and shit. But, like I'm saying, though, like, this nigga on some, yo, I, I, with, with the smoke, he got the flag on his face, talking crazy on, on the internet to a nigga that put him in the position he in. That's crazy, you feel me? I think that shit is foul. I'm not in they gang. I don't got nothing to do with they gang, so I don't know why Guan, you feel me? Like, I, of course I got... Friends that 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 are folk, you feel what I'm saying? I got a couple homies that's folk. I got a couple niggas that 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 be with these niggas, you feel me? That's cool with me, you feel me? Cause a lot of y'all on the internet like to run with the fact that I don't like folk niggas. I don't know where the fuck y'all niggas be getting that shit from, but I guess once you have an altercation with somebody that's a part of a gang, niggas try to make it like, oh, you just don't like all of them, you feel me? Of course, if I say something to you, like if let's say I say something to you, right? 
and you respond to me because I say it disrespectfully and you respond to me, right? And my man say something now, you going to bring your energy to my man's too. Like, nigga, fuck is you talking about? I, I, I. You know what I'm saying? It's like the same shit with me. If I say, yo, Breezy song trash and some of his mans pick it up and try to come after me and I respond to them, don't mean I got beef for everybody. I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm addressing the niggas who's addressing me. You feel me? I'm responding to who saying whatever they said. So I don't hate these niggas. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I, I got friends that are associated with these niggas. I wish that some of these niggas could come to understanding and dead to beef. Yo, Mari! I wish niggas could come to understanding and dead to beef, you feel me? This little nigga act crazy when he's playing the game, bro. These little white kids be having him acting like dumb and shit. But anyway, this nigga, this, this nigga, um, this nigga Bills now, he's not. He's not um in the same set as Envy King. So he can't really, he don't really have no say so on whether he's folk or not folk. But this is a conversation that they all probably had. And he knew the outcome or whatever. You know what I mean? It's it, you know, it's more than just these niggas that rap. It got people that's above these niggas. So that's probably like an order that was given from somebody else. And these niggas ran with it like, yo, you know what? Boom, Bills knew about it. He said, yo, MV not folk no more. He just wanted to put it out there because I guess cause he got some type of name in it in the with with the folk shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he got some type of status and shit. You know what I mean? But this is this is what really happened with the situation, you know what I mean? I feel like like, I really feel like they should work that shit out, and you know what I'm saying? But look at it, though, right? Like I told y'all little niggas before, you join the gang because of popularity and, and it's cool or whatever, or because you chill with niggas or whatever and shit. But look how the shit, look how the tables turn. Like, the niggas you chill with every day could just shun you like that and say, yo, we're not fucking with that nigga no more. Basically, fuck that nigga, you know what I'm saying? And that's crazy. See, y'all little niggas that be wanting to join these gangs, like, take this shit as a lesson. Stay in your place. You can be cool with whoever you want to be cool with. If a nigga, like, let's say you, you cool with folks. You can be cool with folks. You cool with Crips. You can be cool with Crips. Be cool with whoever you want to be cool with. But don't, you don't have to associate yourself as far as joining and becoming what they are. You feel what I'm saying? Word. You know what I'm saying? But anyway... I'm not gonna make this video too long and shit. It's already 17 minutes. Y'all comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about the whole situation. And I'm gonna keep y'all updated because it's gonna be more stuff coming out about this situation. Because this right here can't just be it. It gotta be more. You feel what I'm saying? And listen, I'm not being biased to the situation. I'm not trying to, you know, clown nobody or nothing and shit like that. We're just gonna keep shit professional from now on. Nothing. All this, all this drama shit, I'm trying to stay away from that shit now, you feel me? I got another video coming. I'm going to speak on that in another video. But it's your boy, Apple Class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Get this video right here to 4K likes. Last video, I told y'all to get it to 3K likes, and y'all did that. Get this one to 4K likes. It's your boy, Apple Class. Do you subscribe? Remember this. Whenever you watch my videos, it's all jokes, man. You gotta come over here and get a laugh. Don't hate me cause I gave you a low rating. Hate yourself cause you ain't make a fire song. Haha, <laughs> it's your boy BMG, man. Good. Bow!